After using the Buetti AC200P power station for three years, I finally made a switch to the EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus. Stick around, I'll tell you why I made the switch. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I have with me today the EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus. And I gotta say that this power station has been a game changer when camping with my Airstream Base Camp. This power station stays inside my Airstream Base Camp at all times and I couldn't be happier because I finally found something that's appropriate for my camping needs to replace the Buetti AC200P that I've had for three years. So I'll tell you my story and let's start from the beginning. About two years ago, I made a video about the Bluetti AC200P and testing it out to see if it runs my AC or not. And I gotta say that the Bluetti AC200P is an awesome battery pack. It served me very, very well in the time that I've owned it. But I had an issue with the Bluetti this past summer and I didn't have a power station that would last me for my long road trip of 4,000 miles. Now I reached out to customer service and they were great, but they couldn't send me back a replacement in time for me to go on my long road trip. So I asked one of my friends to let me borrow one of his EcoFlow Delta, the original one. I took the EcoFlow Delta on my long road trip that lasted three weeks and that trip really changed my mind on what kind of battery pack I really, really needed. Fast forward today, the EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus just recently came out and I was super excited for it because it's exactly what I needed. There's been a lot of improvements from the Delta 3 Plus compared to the original Delta. Let's go over some of my favorite features of the EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus and see why I made the switch. The EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus is a 1 kilowatt hour power station that can be expanded to 5 kilowatt hour. Now this is comparing to the Bluetti which only stays at 2 kilowatt hour. So after years of using 2 kilowatt hour worth of battery capacity, I realized that I don't need that much capacity. What I really need is only 1 kilowatt hour. That's because every time I use my Blue Eddy for each camping trip, I have about 50% left at least on my power station. So it doesn't make sense for me to bring a bigger battery capacity when I only use half of it for weekend camping trips. And besides, one of the biggest pain points that I don't like about the Blue Eddy is how heavy it is. It's around 60 pounds and it's not really fun to move around from your trailer to the outside space or vice versa. Once I have the Bluetti set in the base camp, it stays there for a good amount of time. I only move it if I really, really have to move it out to do some cleaning or maybe some charging or maintenance or something like that. The EcoFlow, however, is a different story. It only weighs at 27.5 pounds and is super easy to move in and out. I can very easily move this power station from my RV to the outside space where my friends would hang out and I would let the whole party plug in into this power station to charge their devices. So it really gives me an opportunity to not only use this for myself, but it allows me to share it with my friends also. Though it has less of the capacity of a Blue Yeti, if I really want it, I can buy the expandable battery to add on to this and that would make it a two kilowatt hour power station without any issues at all. The extra battery that's added on to the EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus only weighs 21 pounds. So when you consider the main battery comparing to the expandable extra battery added together, it's actually lighter than the Bluetti by 11.5 pounds. Beyond the size and weight of each power station, the EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus offers plenty of ports for me to plug in all my electronic devices. There are six AC output ports, and I really like how the bottom row of the AC ports have different orientation, so it doesn't interfere with other plugs. There are two USB-C and two USB-A ports, but really, I wish if there are three USB-C ports instead. Two USB-C ports will allow me and my wife to charge our phones, but we have other camping lights and smaller electronic devices while camping that we would really like to charge at the same time. So we have to wait for that, and that is a inconvenience. I also like how the DC output port is in the back. I don't use the DC output port that much, so it's nice to have it out the way. Now I'll tell you what I really like about the design of the EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus. I really like the sliding door in the back for the inputs. 
The door opens to the side and then slides in. This is actually really important because it prevents accidental damage and that can happen a lot when you're camping and being rough with your equipment. The display screen for the EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus is pretty easy to read even in daylight unlike the Blue Yeti. I think that the design and aesthetic of the EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus is better than the Blue Yeti but there are some things that Blue Yeti does that I wish EcoFlow would do. One of those things is to cover up all the ports. Now the back side of the EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus is covered but the front side that has all the output ports is not covered at all. This makes me a little bit nervous because I camp in the Pacific Northwest where it rains all the time, especially in the season of fall, winter, and basically spring. So I wouldn't really wanna leave this anywhere close to the rain because how exposed it is. But perhaps one of the feature that kept me on the fence for the longest time was the inverter technology. The EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus has an AC output of 1800 watts. It also has X-Boost technology, which basically protects the surge up to 3600 watts. When you hear those numbers, don't let it confuse you because what the EcoFlow does is that it takes a higher power requirement and lowers it to 1800 watts to make the electronic device work. So for example, if I have an oven that requires 3600 watts to run on high heat, I can run it with my EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus on medium heat at most because it lowers the power requirement to 1800 watts. The Blue Eddy, however, has an AC output of 2000 watts with surge protection up to 4800 watts. So with the EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus weaker inverter technology comparing to the Blue Eddy, let's see if it can run some of my most demanding electronic appliances when I go camping. Let's test out my espresso machine that I bring with me in the Airstream Base Camp on all camping trips. Okay, here goes the double shot. Yay, that shot turned out to be pretty good. Nice crema, good amount of pressure buildup and uh, release of pressure to make this really nice shot of, double shot of espresso. I gotta say that I'm pretty impressed. So there you have it folks, the EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus definitely pulls a pretty good espresso shot and if you saw it in action, you can see that it fluctuates up to 1500 watts and then down to 700 watts and anywhere in between just to pull the expressure shot to make it really, really good. Let's move on to the next appliance to test it out. All right, so I have the microwave that came with the Airstream Base Cam that I took out. And I have to admit that I haven't been using this microwave at all, but now that I have a kid, I think I'm gonna be needing to use this microwave more often in the future as my kid wants food in the middle of the night or whenever and I need to heat food up instantly for my daughter. So let's test it out. The requirement for this, according to the sticker, is 1050 watts. So let's see how it performs. So far, the EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus has been running pretty good. Look at that voltage right there. Well, that went pretty smoothly. It hovered around 1100 watts and there was no hiccup at all. So that was pretty easy. Let's move on to something harder. Let's test out the Airstream Base Camp's AC. I'm inside my base camp and I brought the cord to connect the power hookup. So I can show you that it goes into the power station here. So I'm gonna do that right now. Immediately when I plug it in, you can see that it's running at about 70 watts 
right now because I have my refrigerator running in my base camp. We're gonna leave it like this and we're gonna run the AC to test it out to see how it performs. Just a reminder, this test, I'm not testing for efficiency. I just wanna see if the AC can run because actually right now the weather is pretty cold. So here we go. We're gonna run the AC. The AC in the base camp is a 9,000 BTU unit and it doesn't have a soft start. So the way to make it work is to run it for a few seconds on high fan before I switch it to low AC mode. So it's on high fan right now and as you can see it's consuming about 200 watts. So now that I've got it going, I'm going to turn it on low AC mode. Okay, it is not really working out that well because it's so cold that it's not even consuming that much voltage right now. Let's turn it on high cool mode to see how it goes. This is on high cool mode. It's about the same as like a high fan. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna actually turn it on low heat because it's so cold right now. I need to do the opposite of summertime. Okay, here we go. So on low heat, it is really kicking this battery's butt, but it's still running. The power station is still running amazingly. Look at that. It's draining by percentages so quickly. Feels like every few seconds, it gets drained. That is a lot of power being consumed right now. All right, let's move on and talk about how the EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus charges. EcoFlow has always been known for their fast charging speed and rightly so. The Delta 3 Plus can go from 0 to 100 in 56 minutes. That's fast AC charging at 1500 watts. This solves one of my biggest pain points for the Blue Eddy because the Blue Eddy takes about five and a half hours to charge via AC. When traveling on a road trip with this power station, I can make a pit stop for lunch, find an outlet, plug this power station in, and it would be good and ready to go by the end of my meal. That makes it pretty convenient and makes road trip planning a lot easier. But let's say that I'm driving for a long time and I don't plan to make a pit stop, I can actually get an EcoFlow alternator charger and charge at 800 watts. It takes about 1.3 hours to charge this power station with the EcoFlow alternator charger. That's super fast comparing to the traditional 12 volt DC car charger that might take up to 10 hours just to charge a power station of this capacity. You can also charge the Delta 3 Plus with solar panels. There are two solar MPPT inputs for you to charge via solar panels. Each of those inputs are 500 watts. So you have a total of a thousand watts of solar inputs. Now that sounds really nice. I wouldn't need a lot of solar panels to really match up to that charging capacity. I only have a single 220 watts bifacial solar panel. So I wouldn't really take advantage of that feature for this power station. Now you might be thinking that's pretty cool because I can charge my power station a lot quicker. That's just not the case because you're still limited to 1500 watts input for both solar and AC input. So that means that whatever voltage solar charging is lacking, the AC input will make up for that. Hybrid mode is a great way to conserve energy while still charging at the fastest speed available. And speaking of charging progress, let's talk about the EcoFlow app and how you can use it to monitor the status of your power station. I usually don't care about the app for power station under one kilowatt hour, but I find it extremely helpful to use the app on this power station. The reason why I like the app so much when it comes to this power station is that I don't have to be physically next to my power station to keep an eye on it. A lot of times when I'm camping, I would set the solar panels and power station quite a distance away from me so that way I can have a clear view of the sun and I'm not next to my power station. So I would like to keep an eye on it on the app to make sure that everything is charging as it should. Make sure that the input is consistent 
And if it's not consistent, then I need to be adjusting my solar panels to get the right angles or maybe move it in a spot where the shade of the tree is not overcasting it. So the app is really great for keeping an eye on the status of your charging. But I wish if EcoFlow can add a feature in which you set a range of input and if it goes below or beyond that range, it's going to notify you. That way, if my solar panel isn't producing enough inputs to my power station, I would get notified and then I would do something about it. I don't want to be looking at my phones at all time. So for me, that would be really helpful to get a notification so I can be alert to make changes when necessary. Last but not least, let's talk about the infamous phantom drain. What is the phantom drain? Well, the phantom drain happens to all the power stations. And what happens is that if you don't use the power station and you leave it on, it drains some power. The power drains even more if you leave the inverter running without charging your devices or doing anything to it. The phantom drain is one of my biggest pet peeves when using my Blueetti. I would plug in to charge my electronic devices with the inverter turned on before I go to bed. And when I wake up in the morning, my power station is 20 to 30% less than when I had gone to bed. This is not the case when I'm able to charge my devices during the daytime because I'm able to turn off my power station when my devices are done charging. So far, the Phantom Drain hasn't have a noticeable effect on the Delta 3 Plus, but we're gonna do a test just to compare. Okay, I'm back the following day and I kept these two power stations on since last night to run different tests on them. So here are the results. The first test that I ran was with the AC inverter turn on. I recorded the starting percentage and ending percentage of the EcoFlow and Blue Eddy after 8.7 hours. My calculations show me that the EcoFlow consume about 17 watt hour and the Blue Eddy consume about 75 watt hour. From this point, I left both power stations on for another four hours, but with the AC inverter turned off. I recorded the starting and ending percentage again and calculated the result of the EcoFlow consuming about 5 watt per hour, while the Buetti consume about 20 watt per hour. Now, the test result is pretty shocking and it definitely confirms my assumption that the EcoFlow has less of a phantom drain than the Buetti. Now, just to be fair, the bigger the battery capacity and bigger the inverter technology, the more drain it's gonna have, so the more power consumption it's gonna have on idle. But even with that, I only expected the Blue Eddy to consume twice as much as the EcoFlow, but in fact, the result shows that it consumes four times as much as the EcoFlow. That's quite shocking indeed. This test proves that one of my biggest pet peeves with the Blue Eddy is actually lessened with the EcoFlow. So that's great news. Overall, I wanted to switch from the Blue Eddy to the EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus because of its size and its weight. And I was also looking for something that can run all of my high demand appliances when I'm camping. In addition to that, I was looking for something that could charge relatively fast because when I'm on the road, I need it to charge while I'm eating lunch or dinner or making a pit stop somewhere. Last but not least, one of my biggest pet peeve with the Blue Eddy power station is the Phantom Train. And based on my test, it seems like the EcoFlow Flow Delta 3 Plus consumes four times less when it comes to the Phantom Drain. These are all the major reasons why I switch over from the Blue Eddy to the EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus. So if you're in the market for a power station, I highly recommend you get an EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus. And speaking of which, Black Friday is coming up and EcoFlow has some excellent sales. You can check the link and my promo code in the description to save you some money. Let me know what you guys think about the EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus and tell me if I made the right choice in switching from the Blue Eddy to the EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus. If you found this video helpful, it would really mean a lot to me if you hit the like and hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.